Hello amazing hackers, hope you're doing well today. So today I wanted to showcase a tool which I really love. This has gotten me by far the most vulnerabilities I found in bug bounties so far. This amazing burp suite extension is called Authorize and I have some videos on my channel detailing how to use it extensively. Today I just wanted to highlight it because first of all of course you're going to test broken access control with authorize that's what authorize is good for but you can also test idors with authorize so that's already two things that it's really good at now if i'm testing idors of course i'm logging in as one user i'm taking their cookies inserting them here or their their headers their authorization headers inserting them here and then i am putting authorize on and that's going to repeat every single request that i make so i'm going to click around as a second user and I'm going to try to find the IDOR object. So that's the object, the, and then there's a direct reference to it, so an identifier or something like that. And I'm gonna try to click on those things. Now, if they're supposed to be public, you have to be really careful. If they're supposed to be public, of course, that's a vulnerability. But if it's a private resource and you see bypassed here, oh boy, then that's reason to check, that's for sure. Now, of course, you have to be careful because not always is this tool right, of course. It follows a certain set of rules. And as you can see, you have some interception filters. First thing I always do, and it's strange that this still hasn't been added by default, is that I add this type of filter here, the scope items only, so that I only have scope items in here. Now, uh, if I don't do that, it will do everything like the heartbeats that Google Chrome sends out. Um, if you go to Google to look something up, it will do that as well with Authorize. So I always add this content filter. Now, let's say I have a, uh, a config call, uh, something that is supposed to be accessible by everybody or even the index page, the home page. Well, then I can also exclude pages which contain certain keywords in the URLs, or I can make sure that, sorry, URL not contains so i want to make sure that the url does not contain index.php or i can make sure that the url contains a word or a regular expression i can also do the same for the body as you can see um so there's many many for the request and the response body by the way so there's many different interception filters that i can that I can enable here. Also the same for the enforcement detector and the unauthenticated detector. Um, so what Authorize is going to do is it's going to repeat your request twice, once authorized with the authorization headers that you give it here. And that's going to be the enforcement detector. So you can change the detection rules. And then of course you can also do automatic match and replacement. Now, this is just for filtering the table. If I don't want to see things that are enforced, I can just put that in here. I don't want to see that. And I can save everything as well, of course. This is by far my favorite Burp Suite extension from all of them. If you want to install it really easy, you go to your extender. Here you can see your Bob store. If you scroll down, you will see if you go here, your authorization, your authorize. It should be free. Now it might say that you have to install Jiten. Then you just go to the Jiten website. You download the Jiten standalone jar. And then you go into the options here and you tell it where that jar file is. That should, and of course, don't forget to restart Burp Suite. But then you should be able to add the authorized extension and you should be able to test for some our eye doors and broken access controls as well thanks everybody for listening and i will see you in the next one bye amazing hackers you're